I'm here in Hong Kong again. We've got the Hong Kong 100 this weekend. Looking forward to the race. Lots of pretty awesome athletes here from the States, China, globally really. It's part of the Ultra Trail World Tour, so it's definitely a pretty uh, pretty big one. So just go for a nice easy run this morning. Shake the legs out before tomorrow. So I've got a press conference in a minute, so I'm just collecting my number now and registration. So a lot of excited runners around. Definitely looking forward to the race. Can't wait for tomorrow morning. Uh, lucky number eight this year. All right. Well, I'm Megan Hicks. I help operate the global trail and ultra running website, irunfar.com. This is I Run Far's fourth year of covering the Vibram Hong Kong 100. And we come because of the competition. We cover between 12 and 15 of the world's most globally competitive races each year. So we just finished up at the press conference. We're at Manor restaurant here getting some vegan food. Stocking up for tomorrow. It seems to be a bit of a routine I have now in Hong Kong whenever I come out here for a race. All right, so I've had a nice relaxing evening now. It's got pretty late, it's about 10 p.m. So I'm gonna get to bed now, try and get some sleep. Uh, got all the gear, all packed up and ready for the morning. Looking forward to it, can't wait to hit that start line again and have a good race out there. So, wish me luck guys, time to get to sleep. I'll see you guys soon. So how do you feel? Uh, yes, I felt really good. Felt tough. Around 35k. I had a bit of a low period for 10 kilometers there. But I think it was good. Maybe slow down. Take on some extra fuel. Just take it easy. So yeah, thank you for all the support on the route. It was really great to see some familiar faces out there. And uh, it's such a brilliant race. So it's such a good organisation. And so much energy just from start to finish. So thank everyone here. Thank you all to all the volunteers and support. All the organizers. Uh, hope everyone out there has some fun too. Congratulations, thanks very much, Harry. Well done, Harry. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, guys. It was a great day of racing out there on the course. I was really happy to come away with fifth place and 10 minutes faster than my previous time last year. This is the first time I've ran an ultra for the second time, and it certainly helped to know the course a lot more this time round. The course is definitely unique when it comes to these mountain ultra races, with the first half of the course being relatively flat but rather technical at the same time. The second half of the course is very different with a lot of stairs, a lot of climbing, and makes for a good challenging overall race. So I knew from the start that I had to pace it well and not get too carried away with the fast runners at the front. Those guys didn't slow down all day and it's incredible to be in a field of such strong athletes. When it came to the second half of the race, I was very pleased with how I paced the first half and had plenty left in the tank to sustain my placing and to run strong through to the finish. I'll definitely be returning to Hong Kong 100 again someday and trying to get closer to that sub 10 hours. Congratulations guys, fantastic running, very very well done. It's a privilege to watch you out there today.